Let's do this. Let's see what this video is about. There we go. Ooh. Cat girl! Let's go! Let's wrap this up. Wait, what? Gotcha, yeah, yeah. We know that it's gonna be a gacha game. You don't have to tell me that game. <laughs> I like the music, it's cool. Gotcha, yeah! Ooh, that tail. I wanna see the character design of this character. It looks so cool. Oh, I wanted to see the full design. It looked cool. Oh. That's a big explosion. You can add some volume? Uh, sure, I can add some volume. So much Mother City vibe? I agree! This kind of looks interesting in that regard. The girl in the heart and the girl in the back. Oh my god, yes! Me love the me love the designs. Me very much love the designs. Mm, perfect. Something went wrong. What the heck is that thing? Wait, we we adding speed instead of uh, I see. Oh my goodness, she has wings. Yes, I love it. One wing, two wings. I don't know. She looks cool. Ah! Why they have such a good designers? Okay, she has one wing. It's still freaking cool. Hi, Bunto! Welcome! Happy to see you! The briefing starts in five minutes. You three better have a good explanation. Hmm. Oh no, depressed girl! Ooh, that enemy design looks cool. <laughs> Cat girl. Thanks. Metal all you want. Count me out. Her power only activates when she has her toy. Why do I feel like they really Miku? I don't think it's Miku. Uh, why do I think this really, really reminds me of the factions in uh, ZZZ? Like, ZZZ had similar vibe where they had different groups of characters. This game has males, I'm happy for that, seriously. Ah, tiefling but childlike, which is sad. But I like the gameplay, it looks cool. Okay, cat girl. Hi, what do you have? Oh, that was cool. We have two cat girls, my goodness. They're spoiling us. Some of these designs are really nice. I really like some of them. Can go now. Oh. Not another child. Listen, they must exist within these, unfortunately. Lolly market is strong. I'm playing that, I mean listen. I'm not into them either, but there are there is market for it. That's why they exist. Oh, she looks so cute! And there is a cat at the end. Ah, oh, adorable! You tried ZZZ? I didn't try ZZZ Slim because I heard that it's a bit stale. It's not as great uh, as Honkai or... 
Ooh. Genshin for some people. Boop, hello to Koi Fish. Welcome, happy to see you. So I didn't get into ZZZ yet. And I don't think I will try it. I already don't really play many games. Like, I didn't touch Honkai Star Rail in freaking forever. I didn't touch Weathering Waves after, like, a week of playing it. Uh, so I don't really think there is a point of me starting another gacha game where I physically just don't really feel like getting into the wall of grind because I have to either grind for the stuff to progress the story or pay for it and I'm not willing to pay so I have to grind so I'm into this wall that where I have to spend hours and hours and I'm just bleh. But these character designs look, look really nice. Some of them I would flesh out a bit because I feel like... Uh, let me try to find it. There was a specific character that I think did not pass the main character vibe and it was my issue with her. Not you. Not you. You were fine. She is fine-ish. She's not bad. I would say that her design is good enough. His design is also good enough. I don't think there is an issue with it. Her design is okay. I would slightly flesh it out. And her design, I think this is very stale and very... It doesn't really stand out. I don't think she passes the main character vibe. I think she seems a bit more like a secondary character. That's my issue uh, with this specific character. I looked at her and I was like, I'm not certain I, I see this design as a main character. Basic Hoyo game rules. Devote your life playing to the game or you'll get nothing in return. I know, Slim. I know. I just don't think she passes as a main character. That's, that's my only issue. She really looks like kind of normal. Like there is nothing about her that stands out. Like this, this is not a main character of an anime. This is like a character in the background. I checked Twitter. The devs made a statement about uh, thanking the feedback from the viewers already and promising to act upon it. That's good. I'm very happy to hear that. I'm always happy to hear when... Uh, devs want to work with the uh, players. Okay, the rest looks nice. I really like the city design. Unlike Zen ZZZ, where the city looks really dark, gray, very unhappy, this city looks alive. This city looks like a city where I want to go for a vacation and just chill in. This city, I like. The ZZZ city, not so much. I don't want to go there. <laughs> I just don't want to play uh, games on my uh, phone. You can play most of these games on your uh, PC or sometimes even PS5. Like Hoyo, uh, Hoyo games are available on consoles, PC and mobiles. So you don't necessarily have to play them on your phone. That's not the requirement. This game is Unreal Engine 5. Phone is not the greatest idea. Yeah, then, then no. Until you see nighttime uh, cruising. Oh boy. But yeah, this city looks very nice. I like the color schemes. They are happy. They are good. They are vibing. You wanna be here. It's fleshy. It's colorful. People are going around their businesses. I like that. Uh, it's really, really pretty in my opinion. I don't have those consoles, unfortunately. Well, what can I say? You can play it on your iPad, I guess. I see the beta gameplay video looks kinda GTA. You can even drive and, and customize your own car. Let's see that. I do have a gameplay uh, video out of this game, so let's check that. Why this one? Why this character? The exact one that I was saying that she doesn't pass as a main character vibe. It must be, oh my God. Okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. It's, it's not like there were much better looking characters. Oh, there we go. This is better. <laughs> the, the, the service here, man. The assets are mwah, beautiful. <laughs> we don't like children, of course. I mean, she at least looks like a child and seems to act like a child. So she's at least that much. Although her, sh her skirt should be longer. I don't like this one because it's a bit too cutesy. I don't like as much uh, pink in the designs. But she is a main character, as I saw. 
Angie Caterpin, yes. Angie Caterpin. That's a baby. It is a baby. Oh, I see that this is in Chinese. Okay. I like the doggo. What is that robot? I want to check it. Are you playing this or is this the video? It is the video. I'm not playing it right now. This is not mine. We can't see it from Tori, but there is a part, uh, party list on the right. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there is party list behind me. I'm sorry. You can see who is in your party. Nice frame. Thank you. I think this is the perfect, the perfect pause. Let, let's admire it for a second before we continue the video. Look at this beauty. <laughs> I am... I am very good at stopping videos in very funny moments. <laughs> Understands her timings? Yes, I do understand my timings very well. Boop, Lena! My goodness, she has a nice assets. Oh! Damn! I like that they actually seem to run differently. Like, their styles of run is different. Oh, that was cute! Yeah, the... You have all... Oh my god, I love this. That's a nice grow. My goodness. Oh, look at the backpack physics. This is great. I love that. It's adorable. I love that the backpack has its own little physics. Don't fall for it too late. That's a lot of NPCs around. It is. I really like how lively this looks. This looks very nice. Like, it looks like there is a lot of people. Yes. What is this giant woman? Wait a second. Look at that woman in the background. L look at this woman. What is this? What happened? What happened with her legs? What is this NPC? Oh my god. Oh? Oh, that's a nice change of pace. Ooh. Wow, this is very nice. Mommy Appies. <laughs> Entering limbo? I don't... Actually, I really like the swap from... Lively city suddenly into the combat with these creatures of city, whatever they are. I don't know the story of the game yet. And you can destroy the environment! Ooh. Very nice. Oh, that's weird. This is the gameplay video I watched. Oh, nice! <laughs> I don't like when I'm hearing whispers in games. Those are never good. Can you interact with the... Bending machines? Wow, hello. The, creating a vibe in this game seems super cool. You're just strolling through the city and you're happily running around and suddenly, boom, you're in this weird dimension that is scary, strange, lonely and dark. And it makes you unsettling, like it, it is uncomfortable to be here. Super interesting. Yeah, they definitely making use of the engine. The swaps, of course. Okay. 
okay. Nice. Okay, so this is how we're coming back to the live city. Okay, so now we're... So this seems like this is when you come back to the city and suddenly everything is lively and fine again. Yep, okay, that's, that's cool. I like that, I like that. We finish the section, we come back and this is nice. Oh, car! As a surrealism uh, picked like 13 years ago with Battlefield 3, this is the way. Yeah, I think that making super realistic games is not the way anymore because right now, making a super realistic, hyper realistic game is not really as difficult anymore. Like we have the engines, we have the tools, everything is there for you to put in. I think that currently much more uh, developers should be putting into the style of the game, making it stylistic, uh, stand out instead of hyper realistic. Hi, potato, welcome. Happy to see you. Car, let's go, what car can do. Yeah, and then game, also devs don't optimize games well a lot of times with the hyper-realism, which is unfortunate. Okay, so we actually have a car that we can drive the wrong side of the road. This is really cool. I didn't saw this in gacha games where you can actually drive through the city. On the red light, of course. Let's go. Who cares? Run Star Wars uh, almost at 30 FPS or oh, 720. Yikes. Oh no, car! Very nice that the environment interacts with you when you break it. Grand, Th Grand Theft Anime? Yes! Yes! This is what we needed this whole time! Grand Theft Auto, but Anime! Exactly! Yeah, the the driving physics looks meh. They're not super realistic or they don't have the weight. I don't know how to put it, but gotcha that anime, yes. Uh but they don't have the feeling of the heaviness of the car, but it is possible that they actually may, may fix this or make it better because the, remember this is a beta playtest. They may actually improve this. Yeah, this is also not a AAA game. This is just a gacha game. <laughs> this looks confused. Yeah. Customization of auto. Let's go. Customization of the car. Noise. Uh, we can make car pretty. I mean, it makes sense because most of the... Uh, when you look at the demographics of the gacha games it is mostly male that love those games and they are dominating that market a lot of times so putting in a car that you can customize makes perfect sense to me how was last night's goose hunt with dom it was very fun i had lots and lots of fun it was very good make it blue tor tori blue yes i would need for gacha x gacha theft anime oh my god Yeah, I would make it blue and cute. Sports car are fine, but I need a cute car. I'm thinking, uh... Snack time. Thank Lord you, Potato, Potato for gifting gifted sunny. autumn purple subscription. Lord Potato gifted a tier one Wait, sub to autumn purple. Stairs, that would be they have funny. given 139 gift subs in the channel. What if they update it uh, with uh, being in physics? I don't know what that means actually, Slim. Cute car, do you have an example? Yes, yes, I do, Matfish. I love Mini Morris, but Captain does not allow me to ever have that car because of how expensive and horrible it is. But I want it, they are so cute though. I'm so sad. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you can have a house? Nothing, potato. You didn't hear anything. It's a very cute car. They're cute. You can't deny that. They look cute. If I can make it in this game, I'm playing this game, by the way. <laughs> Most likely off stream, but it doesn't matter. If I can make mini Morris in this game, I'm playing it. I wasn't considering them a car for a second. <laughs> How can you? They are a car. They are a perfectly fine car. Is this like a gacha life sim? Is this what Sims 5 wants to be? <laughs> Is this what EA tries to create and fails awfully? Newer potato. There are the new ones from like few years back. Well, like five years, ten years back. This is what I'm thinking, life sim. I'm thinking that this is... Oh, I love this servant that is invisible. Although, I have a question now. This servant is invisib invisible, right? And we can only see the color and the gloves. Which would... Yes, I did mean uh, Mini Coopers. I'm very smart. Uh, which would imply that we can see the clothing of this person. However, this also implies that this person is naked. So... <laughs> no! That re realization is awful, I hate it. Alfred lost some weight, yep. Oh well, that's life. I'd take Tori uh, for a smart driver. <laughs> no. No other explanation, Ex exactly. No other explanation whatsoever. Just don't uh, ride the bells and you are fine. I don't know what that is. Why not? It's adorable and it's really small. I don't like smart. Don't ring the bells. I shall never do that, I guess, with this man. I don't know the smarts. I would have to check them, but if I remember correctly, they're too small. Like, I don't think I would like them. That's a lot of cats. Where, where are those plushies? Why do we have so much? Hi there, Dharma! His hands look like Ryman's, kind of. Also remember, he's naked. He's 100% naked. New smart uh, for four, aka four seed edition. I see. We have a freaking pool. Let's go. They look even more that uh, this disgust. I mean, cute. Oh my god, I hate you. You want me to have a awfully looking car? How dare you? <gasps> I wanna. Oh, we can have a cat because we have a cat tree. Wait, this cat tree. Show me, show me the cat tree again. I kind of, I kind of dig this cat tree. I think it would be functional and pretty. Why don't we have cat trees like that in real life? Google says Cooper is wider, and smart car is uh, higher. <laughs> Lol. Of course, it's Chinese. There will be summer seems it. Let's go! I love it already. I do get burned for owning a French car, so karma needs a rebalance now! I love the uh, splash uh, effect of rain when you come back in. Oh, this looks very nice. The rain animation is very cool. I really like it. Can we customize this apartment? That would be very nice if we can. That's a, that literally makes me want to play because Sims. And I, I miss sim, Sims. It does remind me of a cyberpunk at night. Mm. Ow. 
I really like the idea of you can... Whoa, that's so cool. You can just run around like that in the environment. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. I don't know why it's on Hash for Potato. That's on you. This is very nice. I really like how this game looks like. The environment, the... Everything around it looks nice. No loading screen! Let's go! We don't have to load into our apartment. We can just leave it and enter whenever. The unexpected turn of orientation. Yeah, that's very cool. I really enjoy that. If only uh, lightning acts like that in real life, shh, it's okay. One day we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get it. Don't worry. I wonder what happens if you bonk another car. I really like how the night looks like, how the lightning works around. Like our car's lights have impact on everything around. You have a first person view of driving this car. Guys, I want to remind you. I want to remind you. This is a gacha game. By a... Developers who made just one gacha game. This person playing has my, my driving skills in GTA. Oh no. Add two games to play. My god, this has a first person driving view. My CP already burning just watching the video. <laughs> My goodness. And you have speed! Nice. I wonder if they made it so that uh, rain has effect on you, your driving. Like, it's more slippery and stuff. I already blue screened twice with it. Oh, and we can freaking race on the streets with some evil guys? This sounds so cool, man. They really took the driving thing on a higher level. Damn! I'm not gonna drive up walls, come on, man. Nice. This game looks like a very big middle finger to some uh, triple A's. 100%. Ah, Aeon, hi! This game looks very, very cool. I really enjoy how this looks like. I hope that it is as good as it seems. Because this seems too good to be true, especially after some other stuff. Uh, let's see the last video that we have. This is the review of a person who plays so a lot recently, of gacha games. A new gacha game was revealed called Neverness to Everness. There doesn't want to give off old man vibes for great ta uh, tales and stories. Ah, that's okay. Don't worry. Or simply called NCE. And today I'm going to be explaining everything I've learned about it and okay. also share my thoughts. Explain me now, all. In a nutshell, this game is being marketed as an open Thank world you. RPG set in modern metropolis city. But there are also these anomalies that you will encounter all over the yeah, world, yeah, 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 which yeah, are like yeah, yeah, some yeah. sort of psychedelic areas with gravity Thank you, thank you, laws. skill. On top of that, probably the most crucial selling point of this game is that it has a fully fledged vehicle system, which looks especially good when driving around the city during a rainy night. And you can also ah, buy real estate right. and live in gorgeous apartments so more or less think grand theft auto but set in an anime world exactly in addition, you can also explore the city slash world with various powers such as this character nanali here using her ability to walk on the building walls and i hope i hope that they actually make the names pretty easy to memorize and uh pronounce because I think that was the biggest issue for me in Weathering Waves. I could not, for the love of me, remember any of the character names or or pronounce them because they were all very, I believe, Chinese. And it was very hard for me to work with them. Perspective of how we can view the world. This game is also developed with Unreal Engine 5. So as you yes! can see here, the areas or scenes change rapidly with no loading at all, thanks to the seamless scene transitions Yay, feature. Yay, no and loading screens! Who needs and those? the city itself look especially great thanks to Lumen for global illumination. Actually, mm, I think this is... 
Yeah, I have an auto quality. That's why it's constantly dropping. ...that the engine utilizes. I mean, I made one tweet about the Night City cruising and it got almost a million views. So My goodness. So safe to say, people are excited about this game. And in today's video... I can I see why they're excited. ...and break down the three main aspects of the trailers. The world itself, exploration, and combat. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Perfect World Games, who I is the publisher see. and parent company of Hara Studios, the developer behind Tower of Fantasy. So mm -hmm. I am grateful for their support, and you can pre-register to Neverness to Everness by using my link in the description. It comes so, this let's year, first talk so that's about the be bustling cool. world we can see here. The streets are filled with pedestrians as the active character runs around, but to me, the most coolest part is that you can see and walk into all sorts of buildings and explore their interior. Yeah, I really like that there's no ra so-called rabbit holes, what uh, Sims 4 does a lot, where you enter something and you just get a description of what's happening and then time skip. Uh, and these are actual locations, not just a decoration that you can see through the window and it's just a flat image or something. This is very, very nice. Normally, we don't get that in-depth world that we can explore. Such as the one here where you can eat some kind of a dish that I assume will provide some kind of a stat boost for combat. And then there's a convenience store the player runs into and shortly after leaving it, we encounter the area affected by Anomaly. As I said, this is a pretty trippy experience. A bunch of vending machines form a menacing wall to prevent you from leaving and moment after, the first combat encounter begins. Now, from what I've gathered when inspecting the combat, you've got your typical EQ active abilities, yeah. so there's a skill and ultimate you can use along with You can attack. see them, uh, the, the abilities are right behind me. Uh, yeah, you cannot see them. My hair is too, too, too fluffy, I'm sorry. But there is the typical EQ ability, you know, probably uh, normal ability and then uh, ultimate ability. Uh, that you can use in combat and we can see there's a total of four characters you can use mm, and mm, switch mm. around so pretty standard stuff right now yeah, I didn't but saw interestingly there. enough there seems to be no stamina bar and instead if we look here we can see there are three charges next to the dodge icon which oh, recover over time and funnily enough the fight here is between a vending machine and trash can who are affected by the anomaly so the first character deals a bunch of normal attack damage and then gets swapped out into this cat girl who has a cool skill ability that turns her into a whirlwind, striking nearby enemies with small lightning bolts, followed by a pretty cool ultimate that delivers a flurry of claw and slash attacks. <laughs> now, one thing I noticed, when the enemies take damage, they also have this white bar below their HP bar. It quickly yes. builds up, and after filling it fully, I believe they become stunned, so perhaps Oh, so this is stagger, basically. The white bar is probably stagger. Okay. take more damage as well, and one of the strategies will be to fill this white bar for quick and easy damage. That's pretty, yeah, pretty useful. First combat sequence. We uh, so uh, like Honkai and Stellar. Uh, no, in Honkai it's the opposite. You have to drain the bar to stun the character. Here you have to uh, fill it up. I don't remember if Stellar Blade had that. I cannot remember right now if it had that uh, uh, that uh, thing in the combat but stellar is the opposite stellar you have to drain the bar this is becoming more and more popular i think so too actually Go it's not bad uh, wall, and now we're suddenly transferred into the inside not a bad of a building mechanic to be honest kind of i don't library, mind it but there's also grass on the floor i don't know but it looks kind of trippy and check this out when leaving the library the whole place shifts and changes into a very psychedelic way reminds me of marvel's doctor strange movies then, as the character walks through a creepy corridor and enters a room, it seems to be upside down, since we can see the desks and chairs on the ceiling. It kind of makes me think that maybe this anomaly area is some kind of a school or university. But anyway, another combat sequence, and now we're fighting these black and red balls with hands. I'm not sure what those are, but they do have a stylish look, not gonna lie. Yeah, now, the, the I like the enemy design, generally speaking. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, you can easily distinguish the enemies between each other and from the environment. They are not super memorable, especially that these are just common enemies, as I see. They are not boss, so that's fine. That's completely good for me. Stop following uh, me. Smiley Omega, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to my comfy space. Happy Thursday. Hi, hi. The battle environment reminds me of a Devil May Cry reboot. 
Okay, that's interesting. The majority of combat showcase here is with this character, whose name I believe is Clicky. Her idle animations were briefly shown at the start of the gameplay trailer, and she seems to be using cute monsters, who honestly kind of remind me of Studio Ghibli's work, or I guess even Yokai Watch, if you know what I'm referring to. I'm happy you're enjoying it. But going back to combat, Nanali unleashes her bombastic ultimate. I guess she's too cool to look at explosions by posing to us here. Although what really caught my eye is this little critter who yeah, hovers I above like her head. Yeah, I like this little creature. Not sure if just a cosmetic pet who appears when she's out of combat, or maybe it provides some kind of abilities, or maybe you can equip this pet on I don't know, but it looks cute. I want it. Boosts. No idea, but could be an exciting mechanic in the game. I'm always up for collecting various creatures in the game. That would be actually amazing if you can have like little critters fly around you or run after you or behind you with certain characters. That would be super cool. I really like that idea. Still, after the fight is over, we walk through a couple of doors that keep transporting us through areas and a moment later, we're back to the city and the anomaly disappears. So I guess the enemies inside the anomaly had to be defeated to dispel it. Mm -hmm. Now, the next big thing that happens in this trailer and probably the thing you heard most about is the vehicle Car! system. I try to translate and see what the key mappings mean here, but they seem to be pretty much what you would expect. Oh, so we have a radio in the car. Let's go. That's awesome. Perfect. You can shift perspective and drive the car in first person view, which ah. is always nice. You Bunny Thanks, underscore channel six just gifted two subs. <laughs> thank you so much for gifting subbies. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for gifting two subbies. Thank you. Thank you. You can switch the radio channel. Oh, yeah. I can see that now on the top. I didn't notice it previously. You can have a I'm radio in the, the car. The trailer will allow you to do some sweet drifting. I also love the fact this disclaimer at the bottom here encourages you to follow the traffic rules. Yeah, <laughs> drift, I'm gonna put my pedal to the metal. And yeah, end sure, we're gonna, we all gonna nicely drive on those roads, right? Snack time. Ah, thank you so much for the sub. Bunny thank underscore you, bunny. channel six just subscribed. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you for your sub. Welcome, welcome many times just like a typical gamer i am anyway the driving here seems pretty insane we totally follow driving hey, laws here of course always when cruising through it and we later on, breaking laws no. beautiful footage of the night city life when it's raining however what really surprised me was that you can actually customize the vehicles with various parts and cosmetics that i we love that idea that you can do that of the car here like there are laws uh, the yes car. so <laughs> i am personally gonna put spunny underscore channel <laughs> six jdx 300 i see thank you so much for 300 bitties i appreciate this thank you thank you put all the parts to upgrade the speed to the max Finally, there's also the real estate you can own. For example, yeah, this is cool that you can actually choose which one you buy. You can even ascend with the elevator while gazing at the city's landscape. And then once you're oh, home, pretty. some kind of invisible butler greets you. Boop. I have no idea what's <laughs> happening here, but hopefully he's not naked here. He is naked. That has been... Is this Zenless Zero? No, Aras, it's not. It's a new game. It's actually better version of Zenless Zero. <laughs> Boop! Hi, Flea! Welcome! Happy to see you! He is naked, by the way. This is canon now. This guy, this butler, he is naked. Still, just look at this place. It looks way too cool. And I hope we will get to customize our homes with different furniture because that would be awesome. Yeah, also, it would I've be. noticed there's a cat tree when the character is walking yes, around. Yes, there is a so cat this tree! this makes me believe there is definitely going to be some sort of a pet system. And as a cat dad myself, I, I cannot wait system, to have my yes. own kitty at my virtual home. But yeah. This will be literally Sims. I love it. I, I want this game now. Why do I have to wait until what? September? I want it now. <laughs> yeah, as you can see here, you can rest on the sofa to advance the time. And this is where the rainy night begins. As I pointed out before, not only here can walk on walls, and shortly after, we can see there's a glider you can use to slowly descend back into the big city life. And after a bit it's of some cute. nightly driving, we can see a blue explosion up ahead, and a new mission starts, where we need to chase down this badass looking biker after catching up to this mysterious... This is such an interesting concept as well, because remember, we have a anime game where you can drive and customize your car, which is perfect. But then you're thinking about it more. And if they add the apartment customization and pet system, that caters towards more female uh, audiences because most of, the, uh, most of uh, those features are female-centered, mostly female like those. So this is so freaking interesting to see that how they try to ca cater to both genders at the same time. I really like that, though. It's very cool. 
person, a hilariously over the top battle ensues with the vehicles. And this is where the gameplay trailer ends. All in all, yeah, the game looks pretty promising. Now, when it comes to my own overall thoughts, I think this is a very ambitious project. It is an ambitious one. I an hope they don't rush it. Instead of the usual fantasy landscapes filled with mountains and nature as usual, it's a big shift here. Personally, I enjoy playing games set in modern times a lot more. And truth be told, a free-to-play gacha game with vehicles or basically Grand Theft Auto the anime game is a big selling point here. It Heck, is. You also get to own an apartment. But at the same time, I am very curious to learn more about This will be most likely PC on Switch, I don't think RS. I uh, this is uh this is the same type of developers as Hoyo. So I do not think you're going to get this game on Switch. I would say you probably get it on PC consoles like PS5, Xbox and stuff like that. I don't think Switch will be included. I don't think Switch can run this game. I think it's too heavy for Switch actually. The story and the lore behind the anomalies. So far, I like the idea of these trippy zones you enter that transport you to mind bending areas. And I can easily see the anomalies messing up big portions of the city and transforming areas you're used to in new ways. But yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to the trailers. Thank you, Captain. Hope you found this video useful. And I recommend to pre-register to NTE by using my link in the... Genshin was announced uh, for Switch years ago, but never came, so I don't see it. Yeah, I don't think this would uh, run on Switch very well. Uh, Switch is very hardware limited for those games. It, it like, 60 FPS for these games is very little description to stay up to date with the news and be the first one to find out about the game's launch date. On top of that, by pre-registering, you'll also help support my channel, which I'm always grateful for. Anyway, I mean, I, thanks I for may watching as this well video this. and see you next time. So, oh, that's not what I mean. uh, but there, thank you so much. Have a great day too. But yeah, this game looks absolutely stunning. I really, really hope they don't rush uh, into anything here. I hope they take their time, develop it, flesh it out before uh, uh, throwing it out there into the player base. Because though this is a very ambitious game. This is a very big game. You don't have loading streams, you uh, screens. You just go into the places that are interactable. You have the missions, you may you have the car customization for sure. Possibly the uh, apartment customization, possibly the pet system, uh, if that's true. So this is a lot of things put it together. And I really, really hope that do take their time to flesh out everything and not make any mistakes because if they do mistakes uh, with one area it may cause a lot of people not to play because they are looking for this specific mechanics like if they mess up with the car a lot of people will not want to play because well that's what they were looking for if they uh, mess up with the um let's say the missions people will not want to play because they were looking for the lore and the missions so they really have to put the work and i hope they can and they will have enough time <coughs> i do i do agree with you captain that a lot of eastern developers utilize uh, unreal engine much better than the uh, west i think that a lot of games that came out lately from uh, east uh, using the unreal engine to capture the great physics and possibilities of it without going into doing something hyper realistic is very cool fits so well with anime true it does really fit well here so i'm gonna be definitely excited for this game i'm gonna be waiting for it i'm i really want to play it Mm, now let me hide this from you guys.